Marcus Rashford's future at Manchester United is a matter of urgency for Ineos. The multi-million dollar question is who should replace this player who is clearly tired of representing this badge? I've got the answer for you in this video. My name is Webb and welcome to United Hotspot now. Guys, what haven't we said? What haven't we seen? Marcus Rashford is clearly not motivated to be fighting and running and doing everything for the Man United badge no more. And we appreciate the good season he gave us the last season. We appreciate the so many goals he has scored. We appreciate the over 30 goals he has scored against the big six. But boy, we don't appreciate his attitude lately. And we don't appreciate his lack of effort and desire at all. And that is why it is high time we look around for a replacement. Now, Ineos is aware. Sir Jim Radcliffe and his team, Sir Dave Bresford and, uh, Bresford and everyone who is important at Man United was in attendance as this boy was playing wrong passes and not caring at all. He plays a wayward pass and he doesn't, you know, he just flaps his hands around like he, does. he didn't care, he didn't realize what he just did. He's running into a forest of legs. He does not have any skill on his feet to beat off people. He's losing balls in the same way every game. When Rashford picks the ball, you can predict what he's going to do and how he's going to lose the ball. Boy, this boy is done. Now, question is, and I'm not even forth about his wages, about his attitude. And for me, the wages wouldn't be a problem, uh, really, because, I mean, if they have the money and they negotiated it, these Glazers, anyway, are just, you know, enjoying the money of the, from Manchester United. But if he was performing, I wouldn't care. For, so the wages wouldn't be the problem. For me, the problem is his lack of effort, his poor attitude, that clearly is sending a message that, you know what, guys, I'm tired. I'm done with you. Now, the question is, what then should we do? There are so many players that Man United has been linked with in the past uh, the, the last trans the, uh, window in January, even after the transfers, we keep being linked to players. And so many of them are wingers. There is Pedro Neto of Wolves, the Portuguese international, 24-year-old kid. He's decent. He can be one of the options. There is Michael Olise, who plays for Crystal Palace. He's always bowling uh, for fun. But for me, the quick quickest solution that Manchester United should have for Marcus Rashford should be obvious. Sell Marcus Rashford, bring Mason Greenwood back. Greenwood goes on the right. Ganacho goes on the left, Man United will be boring. For me, that's the immediate solution that Ineos has got to go, go up with. It doesn't need a lot of magic. It doesn't need a lot of creativity. It doesn't need so many things to be done. They, there wouldn't be so much bureaucracy because this is a player who is contracted with Manchester United. That is Greenwood. He's playing at a La Liga club where he's probably now saying, I mean, come on, my levels are not getting any higher. I've been playing consist well consistently. The season is ending. I need to be playing in a more competitive league. Ineos and Sajim have got to bite the bullet and bring Greenwood back directly as a direct replacement for, 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 for Marcus Rashford. That for me, Rashford has fallen in uh, out of favor even for England. I'll tell you, chances are that Marcus Rashford will not go for the Euros. If he does, if he does, from chances are he won't go. He was limping off after Coventry, and people are not even feeling sympathetic about him for the injury. And it's difficult for someone who is clearly uh, clearly showing you he does not want to play and consistently doing that. So I would be shocked if Rashford made the Euro uh, the, the Euros team for Southgate because look, you've got players like Palmer who are bowling for fun at Chelsea. You've got to fix him to fix him there somewhere. You've got Kobe Maino, you've got Jude Bellingham, you've got all these good players performing. You've got to fix them somewhere. Don't stick with a player who, for his club where he is most of the time, does not want to put in the work. How sure are you that he's going to magically turn up for the national team and perform? You see, the case with Marcus Rashford is different from what it was with Harry Maguire when he was facing his ordeal. Maguire put in effort. You would see that he continue, continuously put in effort to get better. Marcus Rashford every day is just communicating the same thing i'm tired he's probably not passionate about football anymore there's not nothing around he's looking down look like he doesn't care like he didn't realize what he just did it is bad and it is wrong and united have got to save him from his misery by letting him go despite them having completed his contract by i think by i think four years in the last trans uh, just as uh, last year Honestly, I don't have to start this club. Now, the solution is in Mason Greenwood. The solution is within us. That's the interesting bit. The solution is within Manchester United. We do have the solution there with us. Growing 
and people i feel like even the haters of greenwood now have swallowed humble pie and are saying oh maybe we could have him back i think even on the on these uh channels where you know the channels that are advocating for greenwood not returning these propaganda big channels that uh, have always been trying to make it look like an abomination for us to even think about being greenwood back when they post things about greenwood Greenwood's return 99.9 percent .9 of the comments are for he are, are for the boy returning we've moved on you've got to be able to move on time heals things so if you are bitter for whatever reasons you had against greenwood I mean, the poor performances United is having, if you're a true fan of Manchester United, you should be thinking, at least let him come and return, make a stop. If it's, it's uh, uh, so toxic for him, it is okay. I'm not for people staying around toxic environments. Never. If it's a toxic, uh, toxic space for him, it is okay. We'll see it and he can leave. We can sell him or even uh, give him out for free if we have to. But Greenwood has got every right to be putting on this Man United jersey now because greenwood returns now the obvious solution is he's going to take his place on the right wing and on the left ganacho takes it up up top is hoyland trust you me that is the real forward attack that will grow man united into the place where we've got to be there will not be perhaps first of all there will be competition on both both flanks certainly mason greenwood will be pushing ganacho to do better mason greenwood will, will be scoring goals he will push hoyland to be more effective more clinical finishing off chances he should be finishing off because he's looking now like there's no one to push him the players he's playing with in rashford and, and ganacho are selfish they're not passing so he's not pushed he's not motivated that's why we keep saying that because he's he's failing to bury chances he should be burying but you see for a player who is not getting service i'm talking about hoyland now for a player who is not getting enough service even when you get an unexpected ball you might lose the natural instinct to bury it because you're not used to the service uh, uh, Rasmus Ras Hoyland is being uh, let down by the players around him yes he, he, he can't carry his cross at times there are balls you should be thinking should be uh, let, uh, you know, uh, uh, scoring but you see I saw the goal from uh, one of the goals was it Bruno's goal or, or who or, 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 or McTominay there are goals that I saw and you clearly saw Rasmus Hoyland was not happy because he was saying, why am I not getting this kind of service? Because these players who have ganged up the Marcus Rashford and Rashford is seen as the ring leader. His body language alone shows you that he could be the ring leader. These are the kids who chased David Moyes. They were young boys when Cyrus Ferguson left Man United. Cyrus Ferguson, David Moyes enters the dressing room. I don't was saying that these boys, these Jesse Lingers, this bunch of kids were the first to come out there and just do not, do, don't want... To, to play for for for, uh, for for David Moyes, they suck managers. They influence players. They are big personalities in the dressing room. They have bad attitudes that influence young play influence uh, influences young players negatively. So these are the players we should be getting rid of. Bring a hungry Greenwood back. And we've talking about uh, we've spoken about Pedro Neto of Wolves. We've spoken about uh, Michael Lisa of Crystal Palace. But for me, the solution. For the most wanted player in football right now, who is the green the, the replacement for Marcus Rashford is within his name is Mason Greenwood. The one thing that Ineos has got to do, and no one, trust you me, absolutely no one will be judging Ineos for taking the risk of bringing back Mason Greenwood because there is no legal basis for that, there is no cultural basis for that, there is no traditional basis for that, there is no footballing basis for that. There's no technical or tactical basis for that. Why then wouldn't Mason Greenwood return and replace a player who is completely done and out of the game for Manchester United? Bring Greenwood back. Greenwood back. Greenwood back. Greenwood back. Greenwood back. Greenwood back. Rashford out. Greenwood back. Rashford out. Greenwood back. That for me is what I've got to say. That is the first thing that the first decision that Ineos should have made after that very, very ashaming, disgraceful victory over Coventry in the FA Cup.